Hi there! Welcome to the Mission Valley Branch Library, River Days Craft. And today I'm going to show you how to make this creepy crawly origami cicada that actually moves. All that you're going to need for this craft is um, a square piece of paper. I'm using a six inch square of origami paper, but you can use whatever you have uh, around, so a piece of newspaper or uh, book paper or wrapping paper. You just need to cut it into a square. And um, as I said, I'm using a six inch piece of uh, paper and that will produce a two and a half inch cicada. Then you'll need a black marker, about five feet of kitchen string or, or yarn and some tape. Okay, so this is um, a very easy and fast craft. So you take your paper and fold it in half diagonally. And then bring the outermost corners into the center. So now you have a two inch square and these flaps will be the wings and this will be um, the body. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the wings. Using this corner as a guide, fold down the flap and uh, we're not gonna fold it directly to the middle going to leave it um, off to the side so that um, his wings are a little bit spread apart and you can see his body a bit. Okay, so that's one and then do the other side just try to match it. Okay, so that is the wings and the body. Now we'll make the head. So with uh, you have these two corners here and we'll take the, the top one and fold it down. So these corners are represent the, the middle of your paper. We're not going to fold it all the way down to the middle. It doesn't, it's a very forgiving craft, so it doesn't have to be, um, you don't have to measure it or anything. I just. Just don't fold it all the way to the um, middle of the paper because you want to be able to see the wings and the body. But you also want to make sure that this corner does cover a fair amount of the wings. And then with the remaining corner, fold that down, leaving a nice edge of, of white. And as I said, this is a very forgiving craft. You don't have to be precise at all. You can make them all look a little bit different if you want. Um, so now you've got this white band running here and that just differentiates the, uh, the head from the body. Okay, so now fold that in half uh, lightly just so that you kind of know where the middle of the cicada is. And you're going to turn it over and you're going to fold in these flaps to that center that you just made and fold both sides in. So this is the underside of your cicada. All right, so that, that's done. Your cicada is done. Let's put on his eyeballs. Isn't he cute? Okay, so your cicada is done. Now we're going to um, do what we need to do so that he can move. So taking your string, put it under one flap, and then we're gonna tape this flap over. If you don't have any tape, you can glue it. That's perfectly fine. Um, you'll probably have to hold it down a little bit for it to set, 
But the main thing is that you don't want to get any glue on the string because the glue has to be able to move up and down. Okay, so take that down. And then with the other end of the string, put that under this flap and then tape that flap down. Okay, so your string should be able to move easily. The other end of the string is a loop. So put your loop around a hanger and put it on your door. That would work probably. And then all you need to do is pull on the strings and ooh, your cicada is moving. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching.